Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video three of Back to Basics. And can you guess what we're hitting? Yes, the eyes. So I'm gonna cover how to apply eyeshadow, eyeliner, and lashes. So we're just gonna jump right into the video. I didn't feel like filming the intro. Maybe I'll film the outro. Who knows? So let's just get started. So we're gonna start with the primer. You guys always, always, always start with the primer. I have a few primers I recommend. My die hard, hands down, favorite primer of all times is MAC 24 hour extended eye base this is by far my favorite it lasts literally all day all night I can go to sleep wake up and it's still in my eyelids I definitely recommend that along with MAC Pro Longwear um, paint pot they look like so and it's just basically a primer that you put on top of your eyelids to either wipe out the color or to provide a color base if that makes sense so they have all sorts of colors I use painterly like the which is like basically a few shades lighter than my skin tone. I use it to wipe out the color of my eyelids. Basically making my eyelids all one shade so that the eyeshadows that I use will show up true to color. So I'm gonna use the 24 hour extended base and I just take a little out and I dab it on the eyelids. I'm gonna go in with the paint pot and I just use a cheap brush. You can use any brush you have. I just like the brush the way it applies it evenly. I'm just applying that all over the lids. And since I've already done my eye, my face makeup, I'm trying to be a little more precise with it. I'm just gonna set the eyeshadow. You always wanna set it with some type of base. And I'm just gonna use any type of powder I have that's close to the color of my eyelids. And I'm just saying, you can use eyeshadow, midnight banana powder, whatever you got, even your face powder. When you set the eyeshadow, it just makes sure whatever eyeshadow you put on top will glide on a lot more smoothly and won't go on patchy. So now that we're nice and primed and set, I'm going to go in with some eyeshadow. So I always start with a, trans a transition, and my transition shade typically and almost as always is MAC Saddle, and it's just like a brownish eyeshadow that's a little darker than my skin tone and I'm taking it on a MAC 217 brush and I'm pushing this into my crease I, this is what I always do your transition shade you want to push deep in your crease you can bring it up higher too just to define it but this is once this is going to be the most diffused color in your eye look I always go with the transition shade that's about my skin color or a little darker just so my colors have something to blend into and I just take it and windshield wiper motions back and forth. Then I put do circular motions to blend out as well. Next we're going to use the same 217 brush, the same crease brush. And I'm just going to take it a little darker. And I'm going to take MAC Swiss Chocolate. This is literally just a brown, a darker brown. Like I said, you don't have to use MAC shadows. It's just what I have. And I'm just pushing that into the, into the crease in my outer V here just a little lower than that lighter brown we used. You don't want to take it too far in the lid, I am taking it in. I like it blown out in the corner because I do have smaller eyes, so when you blow it out in the corner, it opens your eyes up. So with this, we can leave it here, but I'm gonna take it one step further is um, Cheer Me On by MAC. Taking that big 224 brush, I'm just going to push that into the crease and that's going to add some dimension into our eye look. I like adding oranges and reds in my crease just to add dimension. We can stop there, but I'm going to go one step further and I'm actually going to take Sketch, which is a dark purple from MAC. I'm gonna take that on a smaller blending brush. It's the um, MAC 221 brush. I'm just gonna swirl it in there, tap off. You always wanna tap off your excess and just deepen up our crease a little more. And I'm really focusing this on my outer V and bringing it in a little further. I don't wanna take this higher than the crease. I just wanna leave it low. I'm not going higher than I took that last darker brown shade, Swiss Chocolate. Just 
Just gonna take that fluffy brush with really nothing on it. I think I have a little left over orange. And just blending it out. I'm gonna go on with Retro Spec from MAC, which is this nice metallic y, I don't know if it's ivory. It's similar to my jacket, so I'm just gonna go with that. It's one of my favorite lid colors. And I'm taking a MAC 242 brush, which is a, a flat, it's a flat brush. It's really gonna it, allow us to pack it onto the lid. And this is my favorite eyeshadow brush for packing on the lid. I, if you want pigment, if you you can use a fluffy brush on the lid, it's just not going to show up as pigmented or as opaque, I should say. And I'm pushing that just kind of in. So we kept the darker color on the like one third of the lid on out out of corner. We're going to focus this on the two thirds of our eyelid. I'm gonna take a little Fix Plus and I'm gonna spritz my brush about yay far away. I don't want it too wet and I'm just gonna apply a little more. This is gonna make it look more foiled and frosty. Taking my 221 brush in that dark purple shade, I'm gonna darken up our crease, our outer corner a little more just because I feel like that silver took it away just a little. Then going in with that MAC 217 brush with nothing on it, but we already put browns and things on it. So there's probably something left. I'm just taking it to clean up the edges towards the front. So it's not so choppy. I like everything to look blended like always, y'all. Blend. Now that we're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone. This is the Morphe N149. And I'm gonna take Nylon by MAC which is this nice yellowish frosty shade, and I love it. It's, a it's more dramatic than Shroom, so I'm not gonna use too much. Always tap it off, and I'm just gonna take it at the high point of my brow. And this will make your eyebrow look like it's more arched, and it kinda helps blend all the eyeshadows together. I feel like it connects everything together. I'm gonna start it here, and I'm gonna blend it down to, to reach that orange shade. And then to blend that out, I'm just going to go back in with our 224 brush and blend upwards. Since we're going in the with the highlight now, I'm just going to go ahead and take it in the inner corners. And this is my favorite part of eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take it in the inner corner. So now we're gonna go in with some liner before we finish off our bottom lash line. And I'm just gonna take the good old MAC 266 brush and I'm gonna take my Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner in black is black. And I'm just taking it close to the lash line. So I always draw that first line closest to the lash line. I'm then gonna go in and wing it out. So I'm angling it up, using basically just the tip of the brush. And then I'm just gonna connect it and pull it over like so. And then we're literally just filling it in. So now we're just going to take some mascara and I recommend a nice mascara. I, I like to use MAC Extended Play. I have small lashes, so I mean small eyes, so I need to really get in there. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this. I don't need a thick coat because we're going in with lashes today. So I'm using the Demi Wispies. I mean, I can't help but use them. My eyes are small, so these lashes are literally perfect. And I like to use the Clear Thin Band just because, again, my eyes are small and it's easiest for me to get in there and put them on. The lash glue I definitely recommend is Duo. And I like the one that, it dries clear, but it has the little brush on it, like so. And we're just gonna lightly coat the lash line. Now I'm just gonna fan it back, back and forth 
and you really want to make sure it gets tacky. You don't want to apply it when it looks nice and white like this. You want to wait till it starts to dry clear and then you want to go on with it. The reason that is, is so it can stick to something. When it's already just wet, it's not going to stick. Whereas if you give it time to get tacky, it's going to stick to your lash or your, or your lid when you put it on. And I'm just going to go directly in on my lash. And I look down every time and I just place it right on top of my lash like so. And then I take the, the end here and I push it on the, on the lid closest to the lash line and then I'll take the inner corner and then I just stick it on there close to the lash line the easiest thing I found to do is to put it in the middle first make sure it, you stick it on there in the middle then put the outer then go in with the inner and then it's secure so now we're gonna finish off our eyes by doing the bottom lash and I'm just gonna take my Sigma flat definer brush and I'm going to go back in with that dark purple shade sketch. I'm going to show you just to remind you. And I'm going to just push my brush in there back and forth. I always tap off the excess. And I'm just going to push it up against the lower lash line. I'm being very precise because I really just want it to be like a line underneath my eye. All right, going back in with that lighter brown, and I'm gonna add a little Cocoa Bear, my favorite eyeshadow. I can't get away from it, whatever. I'm gonna put a little of that on a pencil brush. So we're just gonna take it directly underneath and smoke it out. I'm going up against the lash line and then pulling it down a little. I'm not bringing it too far in, because like I said, I want my eyes to be open. If I were to take that dark color all the way in, it would close them. And I'm just going to take a little more of that dark purple and push it against the lash line again just to make it look a little more defined. I'm going to go in with the MAC Chromographic Pencil in NW25 and NC30. And these are just concealer shades, guys, or foundation shades. I never go in with white because I think I can't. It's just too dramatic for me. I'm just placing that on the waterline. And this here is going to open up your eyes significantly. So then we're going to go in with Extended Play Mascara again, and we're just going to coat those bottom lashes. So guys, here's the finished look. So yeah, I hope I provided you with a lot of tips and tricks. I know I mentioned a lot of products here and there. Everything I use will be in the bottom bar below, and the products I use are my favorite. It's not like you need to go out and spend $10, $15 on one eyeshadow. Um, I'm going to be posting a video later this week. I'm not sure what it's going to be on, so it's going to be a surprise to me and you. And yeah, if you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please comment below if you have any questions. Tell me what your favorite eyeshadows are in the comments below. And remember to subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.